Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, Elder, and this is Lou Carefield. It's the morning of the 28th of February. Uh, the SAG Awards uh, were on last night. And sadly, in the UK, there's no live stream or um, broadcast to watch the SAG Awards in the UK. Yeah, they're really missing a trick there. You can stay up late and follow the updates on Twitter or get a VPN, but uh, yeah, I always just like getting up the next morning and reacting to the winners uh, the next morning and having a chat with you guys about it, so that's fun. Amazingly, yes, I managed to go right 11 hours off social media. I finished my shift at uh, Secret Cinema and then I uh, just turned off all notifications because I didn't want anything to get spoiled for me. Still haven't had anything spoiled. I've got no idea who the winners are, but I'm excited to find out. Uh, but yeah, the SAGs, yeah, they're, they're kind of essential this year. A lot of people are going to be looking towards the SAGs to help try and predict some of the acting categories because Best Actress in particular, because they were nominated a BAFTA. So uh, we're going to try to see who won the Best Actress. Uh, SAG, maybe that's going to make things even more complicated with who's going to win. Like, if it's Jennifer Hudson or Lady Gaga, that's going to be interesting because obviously they can't win the Oscar and it's just going to be even more chaotic trying to pre figure it out. I predicted Jessica Chastain. I'm hoping so. Uh, I'm not confident on it, but I'm hoping so. Uh, Nicole Kidman could win that one. Like, she won the Golden Globe, but we'll see. But yeah, what I'm going to do is, I'm rambling anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Variety website. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to do it, category, however Variety's listed it on Variety. Uh, and I'm just going to react to all the, all the winners uh, and then after we're done we can have a little quick Q&A if you like. Uh, just uh, pop your questions in the comments section and then we will uh, they have all the quick Q&A. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. But I'm excited on this. I'm expecting a few curveballs. There always are. But uh, yeah, I voted for, well I didn't vote, but I, I'm, I predicted Coda for SAG Ensemble. Will Smith, Jessica Chastain, Troy Kotzer to surprise and um, supporting actor, and Ariana DeBose in um, supporting actress. Uh, so yeah, those are my, that's how I predicted the key film categories, but um, let's find out how well I did. So I'm just gonna do this in order of how Variety have listed it on the website. So let's just bring up the page. Lovely, okay, right with that. Mm. Not a cup of tea. Yeah, so apologies for my uh, appearance. Yeah, I've just uh, gone out of bed like half an hour ago and just set up all my stuff. So, yeah. All right, here we go. SAG Awards 2022, the complete list of winners. So, uh, let's do this. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, film. Okay, here we go. Outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture. This, I guess, I think could have gone to anyone. I'm, uh, I was predicting Coda. I'm hoping it's Coda, uh, but Belfast could just as easily win this because it's Belfast and it's a, a legitimate contender for best picture at the Oscars. So let's see. And the winner was the same performance as the cast in a motion picture. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Okay, we're off to a great start, people. Yes, Coda won best SAG ensemble. Yes! Yes, Vakoda! Oh, oh, I'm so happy with that outcome. Yes! Oh, I'm glad. That wasn't a guarantee, guys. And it's, and it happened. That's amazing. Coda won SAG Ensemble. That's wonderful. And it, I mean, it's not all that surprising. I mean, I did predict it, but also like, you know, uh, for an ensemble mostly consisting of deaf actors, what a wonderful uh, thing to acknowledge. And it's such a, a wonderful, wholesome movie. The SAG, uh, SAGs do tend to go for like, you know, the feel-good, crowd-pleasing films like The Help, uh, Black Panther, Parasite, Hidden Figures, even The Birdcage, yeah. So to see Coda win uh, the SAG Ensemble is very heartwarming. Ooh, does that mean it has a chance? People are going to be saying that might have a chance of winning um, Best Picture at the Oscars. Yeah, for sure. I'll talk more about it later, but yeah. Coda, Coda's odds of winning Best Picture have increased a bit now. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's an actual threat to the power of the dog, but yeah, it's definitely gone up uh, in people's rankings of um, what are the odds of best picture, or what what's odds of winning best picture are. But yeah, so congratulations to Coda. That's wonderful, and I'm, I'm so glad it won that. That's great. 
Okay, so next up we have, scrolling very slowly. All right, outstanding performance by a female actor in a leading role. Oh God, okay, this is it. Okay, I put Jessica Chastain. It could be Nicole Kidman. It could be Chaos and be anyone else. It could be Gaga, it could be Jennifer Hudson. It could be whoever the fifth one was. I can't even remember now. Olivia Coleman. but yeah. I have no idea. Let's do this. So outstanding performance by a female actor in her leading role was yes oh oh yes oh, oh god i'm two for two on the ones i wasn't sure on yes okay it went to jessica chastain oh, yes oh this is wonderful news this is freaking wonderful news okay yeah okay i boom because christian stewart w wasn't here i was like if it can't be christian stewart can we please have jessica chastain and I'm so glad I went to her. Oh, that's wonderful news. Yeah, Jessica Chastain's first SAG award. Ah, the narr- Okay, the tide is definitely ch shifting now because uh, so some people said it was gonna be Nicole Kidman. It's just gonna be hers to sweep all the way to the end. But Jessica Chastain has, you know, placed her claim now. Like she has won something significant, okay? Like she does have the support of the actors which is wonderful. And like, the actors make her the biggest branch of the Academy. So now Jessica Justin is back in the race. Like she hasn't won anything massively substantial, no big precursors yet, but she won the SAG now. And that's fabulous. This is fabulous, isn't it? Oh, oh I'm so happy for Jessica Justin. Jessica Justin. And like I said, like, it's one of those, you know, actor, it's a, it's a, oh, a performance piece. Um, Je uh, Jessica Justin in the eyes of Tammy Faye. You know, it's, a transformational role, a real life figure. She, you know, screams, cries, sings. She does so much in that movie. So the fact that she did win, I'm, oh, it just uh, it fills my heart with song. That's just wonderful. We're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed. We are blessed. Yes, oh, that's just fabulous. Oh, I'm glad. I mean, if I, part of me was thinking I was gonna scroll down and see Gaga then. Um, I, I just felt like maybe, the influencers would like, really go for a push and give it to Gaga. But no, I'm so glad pe people have seen Jessica Chastain in the eyes of Timmy Faye and they've gone with it. Oh, that's wonderful. I wonder how many people are going to be putting Jessica Chastain now as their predicted winner at the Oscars. So yeah. Oh, congratulations, Jessica Chastain. Very much deserved. Very happy. Oh, yeah. And these were the categories I wasn't sure on. So to see them actually come to fruition is just... Oh, it's very gratifying. It's why I love predicting the award season because when you get it right, you know, on a hunch, it feels so damn good. All right, okay, we're next down, scrolling down, we have... Boop, 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 boop. Okay, outstanding performance by an actor in a leading role. Ooh, I'm nervous for this one as well. I've got Will Smith, but it could be, it could be Cumberbatch, it could be Garfield because, like, you know, you know, actors really love a role about the artistic struggle, like Jonathan Larson in Tick, Tick, Boom. So Andrew Garfield could win this. But I'm going with Will Smith. He's the only one in this category whose performance is in the SAG Ensemble category. So yeah, let's do this anyway. So uh, outstanding performance by a male actor in the leading role was Will Smith for King Richard. Yes, okay, good, right. This is really sort of like paving the way for him now to uh, go all the way to the Oscars. I don't know if he's going to win at BAFTA. I still think Benedict Cumberbatch is going to win there. But yeah, the fact that he's won the SAG, that's great. Now there's two precursors now, the Golden Globe and the SAG. So yes, yeah, I, again, I don't think Will Smith is a lock to win the Oscar, but because, you know, Cumberbatch can win the BAFTA and the last few years, people won at BAFTA, won the Oscar. So yes, um, the, but that's good to see that uh, Will Smith's performance in King Richard is being honored in some of the big awards uh, ceremonies. So yes, congratulations to Will Smith. Happy for him. Yeah, it's three to three. I'm doing so well today. It feels so good. Good way to start the day, yeah. Uh, see how many I got right. Okay, outstanding performance by a female actor in a supporting role. I mean, this has got to be Ariana DeBose, right? If it's not Ariana DeBose, then this would be the shock of the morning, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, let's find out. Is it Ariana DeBose? Yes, for West Side Story. Fabulous. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is, this is, it's all part of the plan. Yes! Oh, she's starting to sweep, guys. She's taking home them trophies. I'm so happy for her. Like, yeah, it's Ariana Bose's year. Like, yeah, she's she's the one I feel most confident on, you know, winning uh, the Oscar as well out of the uh, four acting categories. So yeah, that's good. Oh god, then we've got the we've got the supporting actor role. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll be next, right? Most likely. Let me just 
Scroll down super slowly, super slowly. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes, okay. All right, so next up is Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Supporting Role. Okay. All right. There's a very strong chance this is Cody Smith and McPhee. And if it is him, congrats to him. Well deserved. Um, I went with Troy Kotzer. It's kind of a gut feeling thing. Um, and he hasn't won anywhere else yet, anywhere substantial. Um, like, it's just been Cody Smith and McPhee's um, winning everything. So, yeah, I've been saying if there's going to be a challenger, now's the time for it to happen. And I can see the, uh, the SAG uh, like actors going for a heartwarming, crowd-pleasing, you know, tear-inducing performance like Troy Kotzer's over uh, Cody Smith McPhee's, even though it's a beautiful performance from Cody Smith McPhee. But yes, uh, it's going to be one or the other. If it is Cody Smith McPhee, then it's probably going to be a smooth path for him now to win the Oscar. But let's find out. Please be. Okay, Troy Kotzer. Troy Kotzer. Troy Kotzer. Troy Kotzer. Troy Kotzer. It happened, guys. Oh my god. Troy Kotzer won for Coda. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it's just, it's about time. I was just saying, like, we've, we've been waiting for him to win something. And I'm telling you, he's got the Ya Jung Yoon sort of narrative now, I think. It, he, this could be the time where he really comes out of the woodwork and starts winning everything and could win the Oscar. Like, it's such a, a lovely, heartwarming performance. Oh, it's so, 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 so deserved. Oh, I'm so happy. Also, that, that's fabulous news, isn't it? Troy Kotzer is the first deaf man to ever be nominated for a, a SAG award and to win as well. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? And they won the SAG Ensemble Award at Coda as well. Oh, oh, I'm so happy for him. It's all, mm, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's just makes, that puts a smile on my face. Oh, I'm gonna have the best day ever. Oh, yeah, it's like Troy Kotzer, SAG winner for Coda. Oh, yeah, it's just good. It just feels good to see that, yeah. Oh, sorry. God, I can't stop smiling. It's just wonderful news. I'm, oh. And, oh my god, I'm like, what was it, six for six, five for five, something like that now? Yeah, I haven't got a single one wrong yet, so I'm just like, I'm on cloud now right now. This is, this is good. This is so good. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Oh, please do let me know in the comment section as well how you feel about these winners as well. Like, are you happy? Are you upset? Like, was there someone else you wanted to see win more? Or someone that was more deserving? Whatever. Get involved in the comments, and after we've done all the awards, and we can talk about it afterwards. Okay, right. And those are the big ones. I'm so happy that like, I got all those right. So the ones I get wrong later down the line, it's not going to sting so much because I've got all the ones I really wanted to see win. All right. Okay, so next up we have, yay, Troy Kotze, SAG winner. Is it going to be an Oscar winner, baby? Very likely. Okay, right. So, <laughs> oh, good chance anyways. Let's not jinx it. All right. Outstanding performance. Uh, action performance by a stunt ensemble in a motion picture. I went with Dune. Honestly, it could go to No Time to Die or Shang-Chi, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm, I'm not too fast either way. So the winner was No Time to Die. So I got it wrong, but it's fine. I'm okay with it. Like it's, it is a more stunt-heavy film, so that's cool. Yay, good for No Time to Die getting something. That's wonderful. Congrats. Woo! Okay, moving on. Next we have TV. So Outstanding Performance by Ensemble in a Drama Series. Succession. It has to be Succession, right, guys? And it is Succession. No surprise there. Get in there. Beautiful. All right, uh, a stunning performance by an ensemble in a comedy series. Uh, I think I went with Hacks, although it could be Ted Lasso. Like, um, and I, to be honest, I'd rather it be Ted Lasso because I've seen Ted Lasso, but I just went with Hacks because it feels like it's the new kid in town and like seems to be having a lot of word of mouth buzz. But yeah, we'll see. Who, who it was. So the outstanding performance by an ensemble in a comedy series was Ted Lasso. So yeah, I got it wrong, but it's okay. Like, um, I'm happy for Ted Lasso because Glenn and I have been watching it last uh, few weeks uh, with our dinner and it's so bloody lovely. So yes, we've been really enjoying it. Yeah, if you haven't watched Ted Lasso, guys, and you're in, uh, the Brits have been really letting this TV show down. We need to be watching more of it. Not enough of my friends have been watching Ted Lasso. I'm trying to encourage them to watch it. So if you haven't watched Ted Lasso, Give it a go, it is worth it. I was like prejudiced about it before I watched it, but oh my God, it's so damn charming. All right, <laughs> so next up we have a stunning performance by a female actor in a drama series. 
I think I went with Sarah Snook for this one, but yeah, we'll see. It went to... Oh, Jung Ho Young for Squid Game. There you go. Good fair. Wonderful. Although, yeah, I haven't seen Squid Game all the way through, so... But I went with, I went with Sarah Snook because she won at the Golden Globes for Supporting Actress, I think. So, yeah, I thought maybe she'd carry it on then with Succession Love. But yeah, congratulations to Joe Hugh Young. Uh, next up we have ooh, boop, boop, a standing performance by a male actor in a drama series. Uh, Jeremy Strong for Succession, I think. And it is... Oh! It went to Lee Jung Jae for Squid Game again. Amazing! Wow! No love for any single performances for Succession. That's surprising. And uh, that category was dominated by Succession actors. Brian Cox, Kieran Golgan, Jeremy Strong. But yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I did say, like... Squid Game was having a zeitgeist cultural moment, so they might want to honor it. But I thought they would go for it like in stunts and that was it. But although I did say I thought uh, Jung Ho Young could win for uh, Squid Game. But yes, yeah, that was a, a, a nice surprise. Both of them winning lead actor and uh, lead actress in a drama series. That's great. Congrats to Squid Game. We'll have to finish watching it now. <laughs> All right, a stunning performance by a female actor in a comedy series. I can't remember who I picked for this. Who did I pick? I know it wasn't Hannah Waddingham. I know it wasn't Juno Temple. It was someone else. And I've forgotten who it was. Oh, it was that lady from Hacks. Jean Smart. Yeah, Jean Smart. So that's who I've gone with. And it was... Jean Smart for Hacks, yes. Again, I haven't seen Hacks, guys. I just I don't think you can watch it in the UK uh, yet. So I, yeah, whenever it comes to like narrow TV, I'll watch it because I've heard great things about it. But yeah, congratulations to Jean Smart who's nominated twice for the SAGs this year. So she's up for, she won the act, lead actor in a comedy series. She's also an actress in a limited series against Kate Winslet, but I think Kate Winslet's gonna win that. Okay, uh, so next up we have, dee -dee 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 -dee. outstanding performance by a male actor in a comedy series, Jason Sudeikis. He's gotta be, right? Like he's just on such a hot streak, right? And it's Jason Sudeikis, there we go. Yep, congrats to him, no surprise there. That's wonderful, good for him. Oh, I just noticed that Brett Goldstein got a nom for Ted Lasso. I didn't even realize he was in that category. But yeah, he's fabulous in Ted Lasso. He's so good. All right. Outstanding performance by a female actor in a television series, television movie, or a limited series. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Come on. It's got to be for Mary's. Yes, and it's Kate Winslet for Mary's Town. Bam. Oh, yeah. That just feels right. Amazing limited series. Been so damn good. Some of Kate Winslet's best work, period. Like, oh, she's so... Fabulous as Mare. So, oh, big. if you haven't watched Mare of Tongue, guys, give it a go. It was like in my top 10 favorite of TV shows of last year. Just, whew, it's good drama. It's very gripping. And then we have Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Movie or Limited Series. I think I went with Michael Keaton for Dope Sick, but it could be Evan Peters, also for Mare of Tongue, but we'll see. Uh, well, yeah, I've gone with, I went with Michael uh, so yeah, Michael Keaton because he won the Golden Globe. That was my logic, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I trust that logic at the moment because uh, both the Squid Game actors won over the Succession people, so it could be very wrong here. And it is Michael Keaton for Dope Sick. Yep. Okay, that was good. Okay, so it did match a little bit. That's good. So yeah, really need to get around to watching Dope Sick. Yep, I know. Sorry guys, hasn't happened yet, and I've got no excuse. We have it in the UK. <laughs> All right, and next we have Outstanding Action Performance by a Stunt Ensemble in a Television Series. I, I put Squid Game, yeah, because it's just very action... Well, actually, most of the nominees are action-driven, like um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But, uh, yeah, I went with Squid Game just because, culturally, it's been having a moment, you know? Like, it's, it was very much discussed. It was, like, the Tiger King of this year or the Bridgerton of this year. Like, you know, and just a TV series everyone's talking about, you know, just has a real cultural moment. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I put Squid Game and it was Squid Game. There we go, fabulous. Good, 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 good. And, oh my God, we're done. Okay, that's it, we're done. All right, so let's flip this camera around and then we can uh, do a quick Q and A and discuss uh, the winners. All right, bear with me guys. Ooh. All right, lovely. Okay, howdy everybody. Now I'm just seeing how crazy my hair looks. <laughs> how are we all doing? Okay, so I am absolutely so happy with the SAG winners. Uh, I think there's some fabulous uh, winners in there. I, I got five out of six right for the film uh, categories, which I'm very chuffed about. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Jessica Chastain, best actress. Will Smith, best actor. Troy Kotz, uh, oh my god, was my actor and Aaron DeBose. Those are the four I wanted, those are the four I predicted. I thought I was being foolish with Troy Kotz and uh, Jessica Chastain, but it actually paid off in the end, and I'm like so happy, just like, oh, you know when you get a gut feeling and you just go with the gut and it pays off? That is exactly what that was, so I'm just, yeah, I'm over the moon about that. Uh, but yeah, if you've got questions for me now regarding the Oscars or anything to do with the winners, just let me know in the comment section and I will answer them in a sec. Uh, but yes, uh, No Time to Die won Best Stunts, much deserved, but I thought it would be Dune because Best Picture Contender, yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, the Succession won Best Drama, Ted Lasso won uh, the Comedy and Drama Series. Uh, sorry, Ted Lasso got Comedy, Succession got Drama Series. Uh, here we go. First question from Bowen Decor. Can Case 2 win Best Actress? <laughs> that is the big question. Mm, I, you know, normally uh, I would say it's impossible for uh, an actress to win Best Actress at the Oscars if she doesn't have the SAG Award, because literally since 1994, when the SAG Awards were created, no actress uh, from the Oscars has ever managed to win without at least an Oscar nomination. Like, it has worked in supporting category. Like, the year we had... Um, it was Emily Blunt won the SAG and Regina King wasn't nominated. She went on to win later. So yeah, there's, there's always been um, a correlation of some of getting a Best Actress nominated at uh, the SAGs correlating to the Oscars. So mm, yeah, <laughs> mm, I want to say uh, that's enough to say no, but because this year is so all over the place, and nobody's nominated a BAFTA. I can't rule her out. I, I can't say Kristen Stewart can't win. And you know what? Yes, statistics do help you predict, but they're also made to be broken. So, yeah, we hadn't ever had a non-English speaking film win before, and Parasite came along, okay? These things, like, you know, eventually someone comes along and uh, is the exception to the rule or proves the rule wrong. So, Kristen Stewart very much could still win it. Like, she, if I'm, like, if anything, the lack of the SAG and the BAFTA thing, after being the frontrunner for so long, might actually have helped her in the Oscars, because it was such a shocking omission to so many of us. Like, it was just crazy on film Twitter when she was uh, snubbed at both. Um, and then people saw people's reactions when she got the Oscar nomination, like, on social media. People see that stuff, and, you know, that does come into play. And they realise, oh, like, Kristen Stewart obviously was the people's choice, the champion. Like, people really wanted to see her win. Maybe now she's got a bit more sympathy to help get her to the, to the end. Maybe. If she's, if she's campaigning, if she gets out there, maybe she has a chance, but there's a lot working against her. The lack of the SAG nom, and the fact she's the only nominee for Spencer. Like, there's no nominations for Spencer. She's the sole nominee. And that's a lot working against her. So, um, yeah, she, she can... I think she can win it. But it's, it's going to be a real, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be really tough for her to get it, I think. I think Jessica Chastain's odds have increased significantly with a SAG win. And you know what? I've always been saying, if Kristen Stewart can't win, I would like to see Jessica Chastain win. Like, she's been nominated twice before for The Help and Zero Dark Thirty. She's a terrific actress, and I would be very happy to see her win. Uh, so yeah, if Jessica Chastain does go all the way, I would be very happy with it. But just because she won the SAG doesn't mean I think she's definitely going to get the Oscar. Like, there's a lot more of award season to go, because it's only, um, it's what, 28th of February? It's like a month away for the Oscars. There's a lot that can happen between them. We've still got the BAFTAs, and we've still got the, uh, the Critics' Choice Awards. And there's a lot of time to campaign in between them. There's a lot that can go wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's good. Uh, do you guys have any more questions? Uh, let me just have a quick look. Okay. Uh, are you wearing a robe de chambre? <laughs> says Corva. Yes, I am. This is my uh, my dressing gown because <laughs> it's the morning and I haven't had time to shower yet. Uh, cool, lovely. Oh wow! Does this make chest in the front runner? Asks Andre. Um, in a sense, yes. Um. Although, like, the, the SAGs weren't too helpful last year. I think we got two out of four correct last year, uh, matched at the uh, SAGs and, um, and the uh, Oscars. 
So I, I definitely think Jessica Chastain's had a boost from uh, the uh, SAG win, but I wouldn't call her a front runner because the race is so open. Because Kidman has the Globe, Chastain now has the SAG. I have a feeling Kristen Stewart will win the Critics' Choice Award, and then we don't know who's going to win the BAFTA because it doesn't really matter because no one, you know, is at the Oscars is nominated BAFTA. So. Uh, you, uh, some people will be making the argument because Chastain has won the SAG that she has the support of the actors branch of the Academy and actors do make it the largest branch of the Academy. So there is definitely an argument to be made that Jessica Chastain is the front runner to some. Uh, I wouldn't be unhappy if she was that, but yeah, the, the way there's too many variables in this race for me to say that uh, Jessica Chastain is the actual front runner. So. Yeah, she is, in a sense, but, you know, you can also make the argument for so many others. Because, like, the Golden Globes are a reliable precursor of matching Best Actress at the Oscars. Um, yeah, they're usually very reliable. So, yeah, some people were saying Nicole Kidman's more likely to win. Uh, but, yeah, who knows? Who genuinely knows? Like, the people are saying this is Olivia Colman's time again. People are, people are saying that, you know, Kristen Stewart deserves to win. It's, yeah. There's, there's an argument made for everyone, even even Penelope Cruz. Some people have ruled Penelope Cruz, Cruz out. I have not. Like, I still think she has a decent chance. Like, she's, like, she's got, the film has two nominations, and she also managed to beat both Olivia Colman and Kristen Stewart to the Volpe Cup at Venice when it all started. So, yeah, like, people are underestimating uh, Penelope Cruz. Uh, I think she does have a good chance. It's also the most... Her movie, out of the five performances, or the five films, the five performances in the five films, Parallel Mothers is the most liked of the five. Like, it has the best score on IMDb, Metacritic, and, yeah, it's it's got a good audience score, it's got a good critic score, so, yeah, people are ruling her out. I'm saying, I wouldn't rule her out, no, because she could have wider support from, like, uh, the international voters at the Oscars as well. So, yeah, like, it really is a five-way race. Like, some people have ruled the crew, crews out, I have not. So I think it's naive to think that she can't win it. And I also think it's naive to think that Kristen Stewart can't win it. So yeah, there's definitely pathways for them to win. It's just, uh, yeah, based on statistics, it's harder for them to um, to win it. Okay, cool. Uh, Chastain is the biggest performance, more transformative. Yes, best picture is wide open, says Omesh. I think, but I think the power of the dog has a advantage in best picture. Uh, I still think Belfast is has a chance uh, i did win the people's choice award at tiff and i also think on a preferential voting ballot the pleasant crowd-pleasing movies like coda and belfast and king richard often do tend to fare better on ballots like that because uh they often like get like medium to high place votes on a broad scale so yeah um i i do think it's i don't think power of the dog has it in the bag but it has enough to think it's going to win. Like, it's got 12 nominations in total, which implies it's the most liked film. Uh, like, the Academy loves it enough to give that many nominations. You know, and it's got all the key nominations that it needs. Script, editing, um, directing, acting, for acting, actually. And um, obviously Best Picture. So, yeah. Power of the Dog has everything it needs to win. The, the one thing that's keeping it back is what's holding it back is the fact that it's a Netflix film and we haven't had a Netflix film win yet and the argument is are we ready to crown a Netflix film and I could I think it is time but yeah it still hasn't happened so we'll, we'll see they might still go with a studio movie like Belfast King Richard even Coda and I would not be upset if it went to Coda <laughs> all right uh will Case you win a uh, Critics Choice I feel it's likely yeah my logic is Kristen Stewart will win the Critics Choice Award yeah, I think so. Um, because she was winning all the critics group, all the critic circles awards. Anyway, she was the um clear and obvious front runner in those. Like you only have to look at like the poster for Spencer, and just like best actress winner, Kristen Stewart, best actress winner, Kristen Stewart. Just all them palm leaves with her name, like all the best actresses of trophies she's won. So yeah, I think uh yeah, the critics are gonna champion Kristen Stewart for the win at Critics Choice, but. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like um, she's the most logical pick at Critics' Choice. So yeah, I'm predicting her there. Uh, thoughts and doubt, Catherine to Tragedy of Macbeth. Oh, uh, that they were robbed <laughs> of a nomination. 
I really wanted Anne Dow in the best supporting actress category. She was one of my, one of my number one performances of the year. And she had got in. I would have been championing Anne Dow over Ariana Bose. Yep, there, I said it. I just love it. It's a more emotionally moving performance, more raw, more real. Uh, that's just me, but don't get me wrong, I still love Aaron Burr's performance. Uh, it's just if Anne Dowd had made it into Best Supporting Actress, I would be championing her for the for the win. One of the best performances of the year, for sure. Criminal that it wasn't nominated, and no shade to Judy Dench, but, like, if we're, <laughs> if there was going to be a surprise, did it have to be Judy Dench for Belfast? Like, I don't know if she needed the nom for that, but for Belfast, but she's just loved by the Academy. And why couldn't we give Anne Dowd her first nom, then Judy Dench her eighth, you know, for you know, a perfectly lovely role, but... Yeah, and Dowd would have, uh, I'd just appreciate the nomination more, you know. And yeah, she's been doing such incredible work for so long. It's just like, you know, acknowledge someone new. It's, it's more exciting when people get their first uh, nominations because it means more to them. And it just makes it more interesting. This, and it, it's just better in general because you're, instead of acknowledging the same people over and over again, you know, you acknowledge new people and that's good. So yes, uh, and Dowd, uh, I wish was that. I try uh, Catherine Hunter for Tragedy Macbeth, I loved so much, and she uh, would have been worthy of a nomination. Um, I thought she was going to get in a BAFTA, but she didn't. Uh, that was a shocker, because she's British. Um, uh, but the Tragedy Macbeth didn't do well at all at the BAFTAs. So yeah, they just kind of shut out that film. So yeah, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Catherine Hunter and Anne Dowd. Would have rather seen Anne Dowd in the race, but it's okay. Uh, okay, do you think Ariana DeBose uh, has the Oscar in the bag? <laughs> I feel like she's riding on a high right now. And I'm scared someone could have set on Oscar night. I don't know. Uh, I feel quite confident on, on Ariana DeBose. Like, she's the only one. Uh, like, I, I've been saying this for ages. Like, she's the only one where I feel like, oh, yeah, she's sweeping. Like, she just has everything working in her favor. Like, to like it's a, it's a performance which feels like a Best Supporting Actress winner. Like, yeah, it's all singing, all dancing very emotionally powerful stuff like in the like, latter half of the film it's just it takes everything and also Rita Moreno won and like there's a nice bit of like poetry and the fact that Ariana DeBose wins for the same performance 60 years later with a co-star who is Rita Moreno in the film and yeah I think Ariana DeBose has the uh, has uh, is the most likeliest of the four to have it in the bag I would say like I feel pretty confident like I mean even before like, I was saying with Cody Smith I was saying I feel more confident about Ariana Bow sweeping than I do Cody Smith with Fear, and look what happened. He he lost the sag to Troy Gotzer. So that was my logic. It's like sometimes you just feel it, it's just there. It's just like you just have that feeling. And that, that's how I feel about um Ariana Bose. I think that she's gonna win the Oscar. I mean, yes, there's all she, every chance she could. Uh every chance she could lose to someone else. Like maybe Kirsten Dunst. Maybe I wanna give uh, Kirsten Dunst her first uh Oscar. But I know. Ariane DeBose just makes sense. Uh, I think, yeah, it's gonna go, uh, I think it's gonna go to Ariane DeBose. All right, any more questions, guys, before I head off? Belfast might win picture, but I really doubt Coda will win, as it is not nominated for editing, which is so important, but fingers crossed. By the way, are you hoping, uh, by the way, what are you hoping wins best picture? Oh, thank you, Louise, that's a great question. Um, I, the film I want to see win uh, is Dune. I love Dune. It was uh, just an incredible movie. Uh, yeah, the films that I would want to, the films that I want to see when Best Picture aren't even nominated. I want to see the worst person in the world here. I wanted to see Mass. I wanted to see the Mitchells versus the Machines. Uh, they none of them made it in. Uh, but yeah, Dune, and even Tick Tick Boom didn't make it in. I I love Tick Tick Boom. That didn't get in. Uh, Dune's the one I want to see when. Not saying it is going to win. Uh, I'm just happy it's nominated. Like I'm grateful enough for that. Um. Who do I want to see win? Oh, uh, what's what we have to pick? Yeah, it's Dune, but who do I, I also wouldn't be upset with King Richard or Coda. Just do I love those films, they're great. Um although I think like I don't know if they would be appreciated in like ten years' time where people go, Oh, was King Richard the right choice um to win Best Picture? You know, it's a lovely film. I don't know, does it have more stay than the power of the dog? Thing is, I'm again. I've said this before. I'm not a huge Power of the Dog fan. I I I thought it was fine. I I appreciate so many parts of it, and I will watch it again. I said I'm going to watch it a second time, just to try and enjoy it more the second time. But yeah, uh, Power of the Dog isn't my first pick. It's not even my second or third. It's like somewhere in the middle. But yeah, I think the the film. I would be very happy with Coda winning, and I think that even though it's like it's a it's a lovely fluffy, I don't know cheerful happy cry movie 
I, I would be happy to see Coda win. I think, and I think, yeah, it might be missing the editing arm, but it's not impossible for it to win. It is, imp- uh, it is it, it does help if you have editing. But yeah, Coda, I would like to see him. But again, I do think it's going to be Power of the Dog. Like, there's a difference between what I want to see win and what I think uh, will win. So yeah, I think it's either going to be Power of the Dog or um, <laughs> Belfast. I also wouldn't be upset if West Side Story won. I love West Side Story. Yeah, it's a great movie. But um, the more time that's passed, the less confident I feel about it actually winning. But yeah, um, yeah, I think Power of the Dog will win or Belfast. And I would like to see Coda, King Richard or Dune win. Those would be my three picks. Uh, yep, yeah, cool. Any more questions, my loves? Who do you think... What do you think of 2021 versus 2020? Oh, I'm guessing you mean about the Oscars, but... I can't rem- I can't really remember off the top of my head all the nominees and stuff, so I will have to answer that another day. So sorry. Uh, speaking of doubt, how have you seen The Handmaid's Tale? She's amazing in that show. No, I haven't seen The Handmaid's Tale. I'm sorry. It's on my list of so many shows that I haven't seen yet, like uh, Killing Eve and uh, a few others. The Morning Show, uh, a bunch of others I haven't watched yet. So yeah, it's on my list. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to have to sign off now because I've been yarrowing away for 36 minutes. Those are my reactions to the SAG Awards. Please let me know what you think of the SAG winners in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, are you happy? What do you think it's going to mean about the Oscars? Do you think these winners are going to be the winners we're going to see at the Oscars? What do you guys think? I love hearing your opinions on award season. So yes, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'm going to go finish my Batman review now. It's going to be up on the channel later, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so yes, thank you very much guys. I'm Luke Harefield and for more things related to movies, TV, the Oscars and popcorn culture, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.